What is up, YouTube? Welcome back for another episode of the Weekly Breakdown. Well, we will break down all the hype releases for the week, and this week is the last week of March, and we are going to celebrate Air Max Day on the 26th. And so far, March has been crazy with all these releases that we've been getting lately, and this week, March is going out with a bang. And just a side note, guys, the information that I do provide for you guys today is what I gathered prior to this episode. So if you have any further information, please do share it and leave it down in the comments. And also, I do provide links where to cop all these sneakers in the comment on the description down below. But before we get started, I do have some breaking news. <laughs> And for today's breaking news, it seems like we are getting another Yeezy 350 V2 in this light colorway. This sneaker kind of looks like the Yeezy 350 V2 cream, but this one is not your typical basic white sneaker. This one changes in color. The stripe and parts of the upper of the sneaker changes in color when it hits with a different light. And this one's pretty nice in my opinion. I think it's unique and it's a perfect summer shoe. So it's, for me, it's definitely a must cop. So I can't wait for these. And another breaking news to celebrate Air Max Day. The GOAT app is releasing classic colorways from the Air Max line. From the Air Max 90 Off-White, the Atmos, and different classic colorway releasing. So keep an eye out on the GOAT app on the 26th. And let's start this week off on march 25th this thursday we are getting a new air max 97 uh, i don't know how to pronounce this exactly but swoverski crystals and this polar blue colorway this sneaker is a collaboration between nike and swoverski and this pair is inspired from the women's air max 97 polar blue that came out back in the day since its debut 20 years ago, this is a very crystallized version of the throwback, combining the luxury runway type of vibe with the aesthetics of the Air Max 97. It's a pretty clean colorway, but I'm not a fan of the Air Max 97, but I know some people love the 97, so for some people, this definitely must cop. And there's some decent resale value for this sneaker. This sneaker is retailing with a high price of $400, and it's going to be available on the sneakers app at 10 a.m. And also this day, we have the Yeezy 700 V3 Kyanite, another colorway from the V3 silhouette, and this one is pretty clean. This one is basically the alternate colorway of the Arzoverth. The sneaker comes in a cream white upper, light gray breathable mesh, and you have that stripe, and you have the blue stripe with a tint of teal, and on the side panel, of course, you have the glow in the dark TPU caging. Very nice sneaker, I think it's pretty clean. I think it's one of the best colorway from the 700 V3 silhouette, and also if you guys missed out on the Arzuret. This is definitely a must cop for you guys. This sneaker is retailing for $200 and it's going to be available on the Adidas Confirm app via raffle only and also going to be available at Easy Supply at 9 a.m. and clothing via raffle and also extra butter doing a raffle as well and I think uh, Shop Nice Kick is also dropping it. So good luck to you guys if you guys are trying to cop this sneaker. And moving on to 26, we have a rumored release of the Yeezy Foam Runners in the Moon Gray and the Sand colorway. This is the first restock of the Foam Runners since last year and this time we are getting two colorways. The Foam Runner is one of the most hyped up sneaker sandals that came out from the Yeezy line and the resale is crazy for these. Ranging around $500 to $1,000, definitely over hype for a foam sneakers. I'm definitely gonna try to cop one just to see what the hype is all about. But for me, this sneaker is all hype. I'm not paying $1,000 for a foam piece of shoe. It's not worth it. This sneaker is retailing for $75 and it's rumored to release at easysupply.com at 9 a.m. on the 26th. And also this day, we have one of the most anticipated releases of the week. We have the Air Max 90 Bacon. 2004 since the last time we saw this colorway release and finally we are getting a restock on Air Max Day. This colorway is fire in my opinion. It does reflect and mimics the staple breakfast that we always eat which is the bacon. You have hits of pink, maroon, red, and beige. Definitely nice combination. It definitely looks like the bacon itself and it also comes with pretty good materials. You got new bucks, suede, leather. You can definitely can't go wrong with that. I'm definitely gonna try my best to cop one of these. This is one of my most anticipated releases of the month. So if I take an L, I'm definitely gonna pay resale for it. This sneaker is retailing for $140 and it's going to be available on the sneakers app at 10 a.m. I'm a Manier, Bodega, Concept, Shop Nice Kicks, and maybe some selected boot. 
boutiques. And moving on to 27, we have the Air Max 1X Clot Kiss of Death. Since its debut in 2006, we are finally getting a restock of this very popular colorway. The sneaker is inspired from the philosophies of traditional Chinese medicine like pressure points and reflexology. It comes with your classic suede tan upper and it also comes with your infamous see-through breathable perforated toe box. And going down you have the orange midsole and your clot logo on the back. It's a classic colorway, it's a classic collaboration but just one advice for you guys, please do not wear this with no socks, it looks hideous. Just my advice, I don't know, I think it looks gross. The sneaker is retailing for $150 and it's going to be available on the sneakers app at 10 a.m. And also I'm a manier via raffle. So good luck to you guys if you guys are trying to cop this sneaker. And also this day we have the Air Jordan 5 Stealth. Another restock of a classic colorway. Since its debut in 2006, this one comes with a subtle twist. The sneaker comes with a white leather upper, reflective hits on the tongue, black accents, blue splatter finish on the sock liner, and on the outsole. Nice clean colorway, nothing that really wows me, but it's a pretty solid Jordan 5 colorway, so if you guys are feeling this sneaker, it's basically available everywhere. The sneaker is retailing for $190, and it's going to be available on the sneakers app at 10 a.m. Foot Locker, Champs, Foot Action, Finish Line, JD Sports, DTLR, Ama Manier, possibly other boutiques. So it's a GR release, so you shouldn't have a problem to cop these sneakers. And moving on to 29th, we have the Women's Dunk Glow College Navy. Another classic colorway. We've been retroing a lot of colorways lately, and this one's no different. This one is a navy colorway that released back in the day in a men's pair. This sneaker comes with your synthetic leather upper in navy and you have gray overlays, white midsole, and cream outsole. Nice clean colorway. We've been getting a lot of dunks lately. So if you haven't owned any dunks in your collection, this one's a pretty good cop. But just to warn you guys, it's going to be difficult to cop because dunks is pretty hype right now. This sneaker is retailing for $100 and it's going to be available on the sneakers app at 10 a.m. Possibly other boutiques. So I'll update you guys if there's further information. And also this day, we have the Dunk Glow Medium Curry. Finally, we are getting this colorway after being released pretty much everywhere. Now we are getting it here in the stateside. This Dunk Glow is one of the most popular dunks that released so far in 2021, coming in in a natural tone of cream leather upper and medium pile curry suede overlay. And for Dunk Glow, quality isn't that bad on these. It's definitely one of those wearable dunks that released recently. So for me, I'm definitely gonna try to cop one. Since this sneaker released pretty much everywhere, this sneaker will be available on the sneakers app at 10 a.m. for $100. And that's all the releases we are getting this month. And March has been crazy with releases now we are moving into April. Let's see what's coming towards us next month. And if you guys made it to this point in my video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate it. And also, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing, smash that like button, and also hit that notification so you get notified when I do drop vids. And for sneaker news, sneaker updates, and sneaker rumors, you can always follow me at Instagram at Goggles Reviews. Until next time, thanks for watching. Peace.